What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again to the power of the internet. And yes, it's another Star Wars toy unboxing, but this one is kind of special. Um, this was the most expensive Star Wars toy to drop on First Friday. Also one of the hottest and one of the most unique toys I've ever seen in my life. I, I could not wait after seeing this guy in action to get one of these. I ordered it on Friday. It finally arrived today. And you've seen this probably by now, but this is the remote-controlled by app, by your phone, BB-8 droid. He's here, and we're going to play with him. So when they showed BB-8 in the trailer for the new movie, I was actually a little bit frustrated because I thought he was one of the coolest droids to ever exist in the universe. But there would be no way that they could make toys that worked the same way that did. I thought he was entirely CGI. But it turns out the puppeteers over at Disney and Lucasfilms were not only able to make a real life BB-8 to use in the film, they were able to replicate it at the toy level and I can't wait to play with this technology. I can't even imagine how this works. Dun, 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 dun. That's just a booklet. Dun, 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 dun. My. He's adorable. So inside is the charge base, uh, the sphere, which is actually hopefully very durable. Well, he's still in one piece. I was going to say he's considerably heavier than I thought he would be. Here's his little head, which I presume is held on by magnets, but I guess since he's not powered up, I can't get it to stick anywhere. So let's get him plugged in. Okay, reading the instructions, it says to find out which is the bottom of the ball, just by laying it on the table, rolling it a little bit. So that appears to be the bottom. So we'll put that on the charge base. Then it says to add his little head. Say hello to the world. Say hello. Well, he's actually just like looking around. <laughs> what do you think, man? This is my, this is my YouTube space. That's you. That's you. Cool. Say, do you want to say hi to the? Say hi to the audience. So I've gone to the website. I'm installing the app. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't get copyrighted for the music. But it is apparently pairing with BB-8 now. Oh boy. Okay. So the blinking blue light is his aim light. And I don't know if you can see it very clearly. But basically you can spin him. That seems easy enough. Oh, hello. Okay, get back over here. Back, back over here. There we go. Hello. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> well, door stoppers also stop BB, apparently. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like reggae, baby, right round, round, round. Now, there are a variety of controls here. Uh, the sound is not actually coming from the robot. It's actually coming from the phone, which is kind of cool um, because, obviously, if you're using the phone to control them, you're going to hear everything. Can you do figure eights? Good job. <laughs> We've currently put the wife in charge, by the way. Her hair is soaking wet, so she's probably going to let me use this footage. Too many. <laughs> I didn't like that. So after playing with them for about an hour, I'm still getting used to the controls. Um, and there's a lot of built-in stuff that you can do, like figure eights and squares and stuff like that. I did a little bit of that get him to react to stuff. There's also like a patrol mode where he will just go off and explore on his own. And that's actually really amusing because he'll still hit a lot of walls and when he gets into a wall, he like gets really mad about it. He did a really great job on the hardwood floors, especially out in the house, like in the hallways and stuff. He does a little less of a job on carpet. He does better on shorter carpet than he does longer carpet. And I can't imagine he would work at all like outside in the yard or in gravel or anything like that. But I imagine even on sidewalks, he's going to do great. He's smaller than I was expecting, um, but he's really sturdy. I mean, obviously we dropped him, so that's a bonus. 
Um, the controls are fairly responsive and fairly decent. I think I'm going to get better with them as time goes on. I will take them with me to go see uh, the Star Wars movie and hopefully play with them a little bit there and wow people. The biggest downside of this guy is the price. Um, and $150 is the suggested retail price, and it's pretty pricey for that. Even a Star Wars enthusiast or even an RC or toy enthusiast might roll their eyes at that. But most of these have been bought up by uh, resellers, and they're going for uh, $250, $350, $450. I, I think I think that would be a ridiculous price for this toy, even though it is really cool. But that's uh, just one man's opinion. I could be wrong. What do you think, BB? Am I wrong? Hmm? No, you don't think I'm wrong. Uh, but I, I think it's a lot of fun, man. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.